What? You didn't think I was actually going to do it, did you? So, by the way, my name's Nick, and I'm glad you clicked on this video. So, I'm just going to give you a brief overview on how I quit smoking these things. And uh, how you can do it too, pretty much. Um, let me give you a little backstory. I, uh, I started smoking cigarettes regularly when I was about 14 years old. And uh, I remember I stole a pack of my dad's cigarettes. And uh, he had a carton. And I figured if I took a whole pack and slid the rest to the front, he wouldn't notice that one was missing. He noticed that one was missing. And, uh, you know, I felt the repercussions later on. But uh, I still wanted to do it, you know what I mean? And this time, I wasn't even inhaling. I was doing it just to kind of fit in and look cool. And uh, so I kept stealing his cigarettes, and we kept finding ways to smoke, me and my friends. And uh, just progressively, I started inhaling. And, uh, you know, I, I became addicted to nicotine. And um, I quickly, he was smoking ultralights, and we lived in Florida, and he was smoking a cigarette brand called 305s, and uh, that's an area code in Miami, so that's how limited those cigarettes are, you can't even get them up here, I live in Philly now, but you can't even get them up here, nobody even knows what I'm talking about when I say 305s, but uh, any of you guys watching Florida, let me know if you know what 305s are in the comments, and uh, let me know what brand you smoke in the comments, and you know, let me know what you're trying to do, if you're trying to quit or not trying to quit. And, and uh, you know, I just want kind of to bring everybody together and, and kind of motivate you guys to quit and tell you why I wanted to quit. So, fast forward, I start smoking all different types. I go from menthols, we were smoking marble smooths, and I remember we were smoking cools for a little while, obviously Newports. And, uh, but the whole time I smoked menthols, I never really liked the way they taste. And I just I just didn't like them, so I started smoking Marlboros, and uh, and Winston's and, and things like that, and uh, Mavericks and American Spirits and USA Golds and American all types of stuff. And uh, but I always smoked regular. I didn't smoke menthol. I smoked non-menthol because I didn't like the way menthol tasted. So I kept smoking uh, non-menthol, and uh, you know what turned into a couple cigarettes a day quickly turned into like half a pack. And then a whole pack, and eventually, you know, after years, turned into about a, half, a pack and a half a day, every day, you know, and uh, I became an every day had to have it cigarette smoker. And uh, and I know the struggle that if you're trying to quit, what it's like is I, this, when I quit this time, and I probably, I know this may discount this whole video because I haven't been quit that long, but I've been quit probably about three or four months at the time of this filming. And uh, by far, it's not my longest time quit, and it's not my first time quit, but, um, you know, it, it is possible, and I want to let you know that if you're trying to quit, it's definitely possible. Um, now, when I smoked, as soon as I woke up in the morning, first thing I had to have was coffee and a cigarette, and if I had no coffee, the cigarette definitely had to happen. So I could do without the coffee, but I had to have a cigarette first thing in the morning. With coffee, all day long. Um, after meals, especially, um, you guys know the routine after, and I would exercise. I remember being young and smoking and being like a cigarette smoker and like running for like miles and like exercising. And then after the exercise, like lighting up a cigarette, like nullifying the whole entire exercise. And like, it was ridiculous. Like my brother would look at me and he'd be like, dude, didn't you just like run and now you're smoking a cigarette? And I'd be like... Yeah, you know, and I'll make up some freaking excuse for why I was smoking, and I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna quit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, it sounds like a car engine trying to start up, just never get started, I'm gonna never get started, and uh, unless it happens now, and uh, that's all we have, guys, is the here and the now, and if you wanna quit, you're gonna do it now, and uh, that's what happened for me, so, obviously, after meals, after, like, sex, any pleasurable activity, and, um, you know, first thing in the morning, obviously, so, every time I quit in the past, I, you know, my first attempts were like the Nicorette gum, and I chewed that for a little while, and then I smoked and chewed it, and then eventually I just went back to smoking. I tried the uh, dipping, you know, where you put the tobacco in your lip, and you look like a baseball player, or you look like Quinn Eastwood. But I actually developed worse of a nicotine habit every time I went to dipping, and uh, like chewing tobacco, I did the, the snus, the snus or whatever, the camel stuff that comes in little pouches. I always like to dip 
pouches because they were less messy than like the long cut. And uh, I would dip like Grizzly Wintergreen and, and Skull Apple and, and all types. And uh, But I would develop a worse nicotine habit. So eventually I would go back to smoking just to cut back on the nicotine. That's how bad I got with the dipping. And I knew that wasn't going to work. And then uh, along came a vaporizer. I'm sure you guys know about the vape pens, you know what I mean, and, and all that crap. And like people make it out to be less expensive, but I find it's still an expensive habit because you're replacing coils and you're replacing tanks and you're getting juice and you got batteries and, and it charges. And and that was just a mess. I mean, that, that didn't last long. And then I was vaping and smoking and, and it was just out of hand. And eventually I always just went back to smoking. And because that was the thing I knew, and that was what I was used to. And uh, sorry if this camera's shaking; I'm trying to keep it steady. But so one day, um, I just got tired of it, and I started looking up, like probably what you guys are doing right now, like researching how to quit, you know, and what what techniques to use and what would work. And uh, everybody had like a bunch of different techniques, and and um, I found the technique that that works for me, and I found that after doing some research that that works for most people. And this is my opinion, and it, and it has worked for me every time I, I did quit, and um, it's cold turkey. Like, I had to quit. For me, I had to quit cold turkey, and uh, that was the route that has made me most successful, and uh, it is hard. It's, it's not easy, but it is possible. Like, I'm sitting here today as a living example that cold turkey quitting smoking is definitely possible. If you want it bad enough, and you're willing to go to the lengths it takes to, to not be a smoker. Like, you, like I really had to want it before anything else. Like, if I really didn't want to quit smoking, I really never was going to. But when I did decide that I wanted, I was done with it, I was tired of this filthy habit, like, it made me feel like crap, and I was just, uh, it was, like, starting to get a smoker's cough, and I, like, had trouble getting upstairs, and I was, I was just, it was just nasty, you know what I mean? My, you know, it was just bad. And uh, so I decided to just quit. And I had like half a pack of cigarettes left, and uh, I put them in my drawer, and I just left them. And um, the the hardest parts were like waking up in the morning and and not having that morning cigarette, and uh, started to eat like sweets and stuff. Like, eat by all means. I'd rather be a little more chunky than be smoking. You know what I mean? And people tell me that all the time. Like, it's better to be, put on a little extra pounds than be smoking. I think, I think that's absolutely true. Like. I would totally rather be a little more heftier than uh, be a smoker. And as of now, like, I'm starting to exercise again, and I'm starting to lose the quit smoking weight, and it's it's possible, like, I'm telling you guys. But um, I the things I had to do was I had to occupy my time with something because I found that when I was smoking, like, it was usually out of boredom most of the time and that there was nothing else to do, and uh, I would just smoke. Like, it was just like... Um, it was just a habit, really. Like, chewing your nails is a habit. Like, any other habit is just a bad habit. And it's just usually happens out of boredom for me. Like, when I had nothing better to do, I would just light up a cigarette. And uh, I had to find ways to, like, cope with not having something to do. And, uh, you know, I found, like, um, exercising. I, I replaced it with food, obviously. I would snack on stuff all throughout the day. And I would use, like, because the hand motion is definitely a big part of it, too. It's like a psychological thing for me. Like the motion of just having something going to your mouth, you know what I mean? And so I would eat like like snack on stuff all day long and like get that dopamine firing in my brain and uh, like that took down the craving. And I found that like the craving for a cigarette for me only lasted like I would say roughly probably 30 seconds before my brain was on to like a different thought. And as long as I could make it through those 30 seconds, like I was good. You know what I mean? So it was a long, like, just make it through, just make it through. And the first three days were definitely pretty tough. Like, the first 72 hours after quitting, I was getting, like, you know, bad nicotine withdrawal symptoms. But um, I just wanted to not smoke more than I did want to smoke. And I'm pretty, that's pretty much what got me through it, is, like, not wanting to smoke more than I did want to smoke. And uh, I wanted to be healthier. And uh, I, I wanted to, you know what I mean, be an example that, you know, you can quit smoking. And, uh, you know, obviously in the mornings was tough. After meals was tough. And, um, but I, I probably put on like 20 pounds quitting smoking. And uh, I'll tell you, when I started to feel better, it was probably 
after a week. After a week, the, the, the withdrawal symptoms started to subside. You know, I was really moody, and uh, I was just kind of, like, like monotone, dull, like, just, like, drained. Like, I had, like, no energy. I felt really weird, and, um, but I knew I could do it, you know what I mean? And, and it was just, I knew I could do it. And I know if you're watching this video, you, you probably want to quit, too, and I know you can do it, too, and it's definitely possible. And uh, it's really good to not smoke anymore. And I have people around me that smoke, and I have secondhand smoke all day long. And I deal with secondhand smoke, and I deal with smokers on a daily basis. And they're just like dumbfounded, like, "How did you quit?" And I try to tell them, and, you know, and it's possible. And I don't think they're, I just don't think they're ready to quit. Maybe it's just my opinion. Maybe they do want to quit. I don't know. But I wanted to quit, and I did. And if you want to quit, you can too. And uh, I just wanted to share this message with you guys that it is possible. And, uh, you know, maybe I'll do another, like, couple month check-in with you guys. And, and I'm going to lose weight, and I'll, I'll check in when I've lost the weight. And I'll show you guys my status update. And uh, I want you guys to leave comments below and, like, tell me your journey and, and what you plan to do. And I'd like to interact with you guys and, like, help you guys out and try to help you guys quit if possible, too. But um, if you like this video, make sure you like it. Uh, I plan on making more videos like this, maybe like inspirational, you can do a videos, like motivational videos, and uh, let me know if you guys want more videos like this, um, yeah, just leave a like, comment, comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and uh, make sure to subscribe, because I'm going to be making more videos just like this, and uh, I hope you guys have a good night, thanks for watching, peace.